I was reading uh, the New York Times, the newspaper of record in the United States, probably in the world. Um, and uh, I was doing the crossword puzzle. And one of the clues was service with a Q. And I went, oh my God. And it was Netflix was the answer. And I could not believe that this ridiculous idea that everyone said will never work was successful enough that it had become a clue, an answer to a cl clue in the New York Times crossword that is puzzle. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. How, when everyone, you've mentioned a few times, your wife didn't think it would work, so many other people didn't think it would work. And I mean, there are so many people out there that do try ideas, but they get overwhelmed by the comments from other people. And maybe a lot of the time it's people that they respect and trust saying that it won't work. How do you push past that to keep on going? It's probably the most important skill of an entrepreneur. Um, it's the thing that stops the most people. You know, on my podcast, I'm not interviewing celebrities or big entrepreneurs. I'm mentoring and coaching real people with real business problems. And so many of them have that exact same business problem that everyone is saying, your idea is no good. That will never work. And we have all had that experience where you, you wake up with the amazing idea and you come running downstairs and you tell your spouse or you tell your boss and they say that'll never work. Um, but the real answer is that no one knows anything. There is absolutely no way to know in advance whether it's a good idea or a bad idea. In fact, I've learned even more cynically, there's no such thing as a good idea. No ideas are good ideas. And the only way that you're gonna find out whether your idea is any good is to try it. Mm. And you have to, have to, have to take that step. And so what I'm trying to train people to do, what I'm working with them, what I'm encouraging them to do is how do I take that next step? It is easier than most people think. So many people, even on the, on the podcast, come in and say, uh, I'm, how do I find a technical co-founder? How do I raise money? How do I build an app? And I go, whoa, 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 back up here. Let's think of a much simpler way to figure out if your idea is a good one or not. That doesn't involve building something or hiring someone or doing an app. Let's figure out a way to today collide your idea with reality and start that process of realizing why your idea is a bad one. And I know it's a bad one, but I've been hearing it. They're all bad ones. But it's, you've got to take that first step and collide it with the reality to start figuring out why is it a bad one? And it's amazing what happens is you collide it and you go, oh, that didn't work, but whoa, look what happened over here. And, it, and that, then you go down that direction and then this direction. And that, it's that jumping from stepping to stepping stone that is not only what leads to success in starting a business, but that's where the fun is. Mm. That is the most unbelievably exciting voyage of discovery you could ever have. And I'm trying just to get people to, let's go. Yes. Stop. The dreaming is fun. We all love, oh, I've got this great idea. How long have you been working on it? Oh, it's, I've been dreaming about it for eight years. It's amazing. Just think when we have 200 million users, how powerful this will be. Yeah, great. It's, it's a castle in your mind. Um, and by now, to make your castle real, you know, it's huge. You can't build that. So knock it all down and let's just do something real. 